Uh, hi, everybody. Um, welcome to uh, Design and Dialogue number 46. Uh, today we are joined by um, an amazing designer and a good friend, um, Patricia Urquiola. <laughs> I'm so excited, actually. This is, this is really a, an amazing moment. Um, Patricia, I just want to thank you for joining us. Uh, this is it's going to be a lot of fun. As a brief introduction, um, I'd just like to say that Patricia was born in Spain, uh, but uh, relocated to Italy to study at the uh, Politecnico, um, where uh, she encountered uh, Achille Castiglioni and others, <laughs> and uh, went on to work for Vico Magistretti, um, Piero Lissoni, and founded her studio in 2001. Um, since founding her studio, she has uh, quickly risen to the top of the design world, working for um, all of the world's most important companies in design uh, across the spectrum of architecture, interiors, products, uh, furniture, um, etc. Uh, in 2015, uh, she became the art director of uh, the historic, contemporary and historic company, Casina. Um, so with that, I welcome Patricia Kiola. Hi, Patricia. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. Okay. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> I say hello to everybody and to you, Stephen. Come stai? Bene, bene, molto bene. Yeah. I am in my, in my countryside in Spain. Right, then right. When, I, when I can come uh, to Spain, it's always uh, interesting. Like. In this yeah. moment, I, we are going to be a bit more time than normally, then... Uh, it's okay. Perhaps I not I don't come back anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah, are in countryside. Then as you know, in this moment you know you know the exhibition no? from Kulas. When we go in countryside, perhaps now we don't come back, <laughs> don't come back anymore. Very dangerous, I will say. <laughs> yeah, this is the question. Do we ever come back? You know, will the world ever come back from this? Is the question, I guess. Um, but you're you're calling in from uh, Ibiza, right? See, 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 see. This is kind of your family retreat. See, when till I was very young, we were always coming back, coming here, and we were very lucky, and we were coming here. And I think I grew up like, oh, with a lot of uh, things I, I know, so I perceive it here, and uh, it's a place that evolved a lot. Like, but I, it's been very important when I was young. Then it's, uh, it's, it's still being in my heart. It's, and yeah. we are in countryside, like we are a little bit lost. It's very hot today, really. We are in home, inside the house, like, because it's impossible to go out. It's been years since I was in um, Ibiza. Uh, I remember it being, for me, a little bit wild, you know, coming from New York. Um, yes, who's, one. <laughs> who's joining you there? Who are you, who are you with? Are you, what family members are you with? Well, I am I'm here with um, Alberto, which is... Uh, uh, my husband uh, and partner in life and, and work. There is uh, Sofia. We have two daughters, the, 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 the younger one. And we, we came here a little bit early because uh, my mother was here and she was alone. And then in this period, all of us, we had to share work, life and family. And it was a very good idea because uh, learning in the last month is how to work. Uh, through these digital media, so I call, I, my team is still having this relation with me very comfortable. Then I disappear <laughs> now this month, and uh, it's gonna be a nice uh, two months, I think here. Yes, yeah. I hope. If they don't close and here, and we have to keep here, then it's you know <laughs> we are living in a period very complex. No, uh, then there are a lot of homeworks and, and new ways of thinking. For all of us. Absolutely, absolutely. And so the, there, is a, there is a friend that came to visit me and we were making fun, uh, which is uh, Patricia Moroso, a very good friend of you too. Uh, of course, yeah. of course. Ciao, Patricia. <laughs> She's <laughs> nearby, but I won't say, we, we could use her not to do the talk. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, she has to come and say hello at the end. Huh? You know, when a few years ago, I had the luck to have a relation, little relation, with uh, Pedro Almodovar, the incredible mm -hmm. maker. Mm -hmm. And there was just for a, in a moment, but it's, it's not important to explain, but was very, very sweet uh, thing. And uh, 
we came to visit him and uh, blah, blah. We, it was a very nice uh, meeting um, for his home. And, and we were speaking and at a certain moment he was saying to me, but your company, he was thinking I was Patricia Archivola, but I was Patricia Moroso too. Then both <laughs> were one person. Like, <laughs> you know, as I say to Patricia, sometimes we can interchange, perhaps somewhere in, in other parts of the world. We, yeah. One yeah. thing as him, no? Like, yeah. that we can both. So you kind of become a person. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, obviously, this is, a, this is a very important relationship for you. And so, I mean, you, you really grew up yeah. with, uh, with Patricia and with um, Moroso, so. See, the, Patricia is this kind of person that believe in you when nobody even see you, no? <laughs> when you are completely transparent, I got him. <laughs> and she, she gets focused on you and you say, well, then perhaps something can happen. And that was like this, uh, at the beginning of the 2000, I think. Mm -hmm. The change of millennium. She was really a lucky person for me. Right, right. Right. So, so should we have a lot of slides to uh, to look oh, at? Yeah. Should we? Uh, should I start the slides? Yes, because yes. It's, it's really it's a beautiful slideshow. It's incredible. If so. you do everything well, I'm gonna be really <laughs> surprised like, because like, we uh, we are learning each day. I think it's a period of of learning. I like a lot Absolutely. of that. Yes, really, we are a little bit. This morning I was doing a, a conversation, but they were using a new media. And there was a problem. We, we couldn't do it, all of us. We were disparate. <laughs> and I, I think it's good because we all are thinking in other ways, trying to understand other ways to do everything. And, and it's not bad in some well, ways. Hold on, Patricia. You're scaring me now because this is the first time. <laughs> <laughs> if, if that doesn't work, it's not a big deal. We, no, no, no. This is the first gonna time. Tell them, <laughs> we're going to tell them other stories. It's not a problem. It's gonna work fine. It's gonna work fine. Go, go. Okay, here I go. Here I go. It's the first time I'm sharing this no, slide. But you have to go, not like this. You have to go in the, how do you say, presentation. Not like this. Un momento. Uh, un momento. <laughs> Piano, piano. Down, down of the presentation, down of it, down in I the. I got it. I got it. You have echo. Perhaps. I Anna, go it. there. Go. You like the beginning one. Uh, Patri, here, Patri. Here I am. Echo. We are not always represented by our lovely faces. Echo. Those are little drawings with my finger in the iPad that I love them. And oh. over um, a pattern in a fabric done in the last year. Then we are always working in, in many, many, many medias. No? And uh, at the end, you are this. No? It's part of you. Go, go on, go on. <laughs> <laughs> I get bored from the images immediately, you know me. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Uh, and you know, this, for example, was in Triennale a few years ago. It was an exhibition, and what I keep on my mind, that I did two entrances. It was about time, and my idea was a provocation that people could go, go inside in the exhibition to, through a past track or through a hole, an horrendous hole, that for me was the curiosity. You get in a, a destroyed hole, or you get through, through a fast track. It's your decision. Perhaps the fast track is always, a, for us, a good metaphor, but it's not so good for, for um, discovering things or, or for getting time lost in an exhibition. Then people in the fast track were coming outside of the exhibition really quick. Then they couldn't see quite anything. It was very fun, the, the, the attitude of all the, even the, the journalists trying to go out of the red carpet and getting inside the exhibition, no, from a side. Like, then I, it was, I think it was a nice, a nice thing, like, uh, to make That's us funny. think. That's funny. <laughs> so tell oh, this us about the, See, this is in a gallery of a friend of me. I think it's always so important, our relation. Um, in my city, Milano, uh, this, this little gallery from a very good friend, Federico Pepe, and he's artist, uh, graphic, uh, he does all the art direction, he does many other things. Oh, and Studio Pepe. Very... Sorry? Studio Pepe is his, his company, no? Si, si, he's, um, he has this gallery and uh, uh, Pepe, Federico Pepe does uh, very interesting other things. Like, then uh, we, many times we, we get together, we, we do an exhibition. That was my book. And uh, for one month, we were sending each other a, a page of the book and we were destroying the page, doing little drawings on it. Then uh, people saw the book uh, in another way, dismantled. 
then I uh, I like this idea. Uh, uh, well, this is a great place to start, Patricia, to 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 understand kind of how you how you began in in design, like where your interest really kind of started. Um, I know you come from a family of powerful women. Uh, I've met your mother. She's amazing. <laughs> You've met them. <laughs> I've met them. I know them all. Uh, Sophia is <laughs> my heart. She's so precious. Uh, but, but I want, you know, I just want to kind of uh, get at where um, this kind of bug for design came from. What, what inspired you initially uh, to become an architect, to leave Spain and uh, travel to Italy? You know, it's it's always so, in some ways, so so difficult to explain, really, because you you I think my mind now is so far away of uh, the things that were moving myself. You know, when I was young, then I, I try to interpret it. But you, I think you, we always invent because I think the mind of a uh, when I was, for, for example, thirteen years old, I remember crossing a park and going through the, my city that was Oviedo a city in the north of Spain. Uh, and uh, I think I, I was in, um, I'm gonna be an architect. There were a lot of things that I remember associated to a place. And in very young age, I think I wanted to be an architect for different reasons. I think um, never designer because design didn't exist in design my country. Didn't exist, exactly. No, it didn't exist. Uh, you could be an architect or you could be another thing, but not, not. My father was an engineer, but he, mm. Um, I had my, my grandmother, brother was a, an architect. My elder cousins were architects, some of them. They, there was a lot of these uh, arguments. Um, a lot of, you know, so in my house, everybody had an opinion about this. Uh, story, you know? I was one of the little ones in the family. Then nobody was listening to absolutely to you. Like a lot of crossovers and uh, you were there, you know, catching ideas. No? And uh, there was not architecture, there was not architecture in Oviedo. Another fantastic reason to do it, because I need to move no, away. Mm -hmm. And uh, I went to Madrid and I was convinced. I could just, I think I was, yeah, for me it was easy to draw and to, to do things, manuality, since I always was doing something, breaking things, you know. Then, you know, uh, and I had a, a brother, um, an elder sister, uh, which was, she was drawing very well, Lucia too, molto brava. But my younger brother was always playing. I was always playing with him. We were only one year of difference. Then I was always doing in a little house and his cowboys. There were always this mix of a garage, a cowboy space, and a, and a dollhouse where I were a monument. You know? we were, that, I think, was for me my, my mental space. You know? And um, we played a lot, a long time. <laughs> then, I don't know, families... Sometimes this kind of profession for them was a normal profession, then was quite natural when I chose to do it. But perhaps they are not so strong reason, you know? Uh, it's, well, so, you, it's so natural, you know? Yeah, it makes me think. I mean, when I look at this image, you can only work with people you like. You don't always like your family members, uh, yeah, yes. especially at certain I'm moments. Happy. But, <laughs> but they, they lead you and they push you in certain directions. And so, you know, when I think about the collaborations that you've had over time, um, obviously the people uh, that you've encountered have been greatly influential. And, and I really admire the way that you carry them forward with you. Uh, and and your, your working relationships are, are deeply personal. And so um, maybe we can talk a little bit about, uh, you know, how that uh, nature is just part of, part of who you are. You know, this, this um, phrase, with this uh, quote is from Milton Glaser, no? And uh, I always like it a lot. And we use it for an exhibition. It was a kind of um, dinner we did inside Mutina, that was a company for, that I'm working for a long time it's in ceramic tiles. And they are very connected with art. They are very intended in, in conceptual things. And we, we did a, this big uh, image at the end of the dinner, that a big door. Uh, in, in the, the company get open and you everybody was seeing that big message that we were giving to them. We want to work in a certain way. And I think was, uh, everybody liked it a lot because it was very spontaneous and we were really uh, trying to create a kind of a way of, of doing a, a path I put together. And um, after 10 years, I can say it's true, or after eight years of this uh, event, no? 
And uh, me, for example, I remember I arrived to Milano. I was a student of 20 years old, something like this. And those were the drawings of my thesis. Uh, the beginning of my, and Castiglione was saying that was my um, mentor in the, for the thesis in the university. These drawings of Urquiola, I don't understand anything he was making. <laughs> and always saying to his assistant, to, you have a look because Urquiola is with those little. And then when I, I had the luck to do an exhibition about him, no? now um, in his centenary, uh, one year ago, and uh, even a bit more than one year. And um, I, I use the same way of thinking that in my thesis, then some things are inside yourself. Uh, and they are so strong, no? Are you still thinking about a person? I associate you with moments, circumstances, um, uh, techniques. I, I'm not chronological at all. Like if they ask me to do something in a real chronological way, I say, oh, you ask it me. If you put images, put them in a chronological, or certainly with the groups, uh, and I will say, oh, that's uh, the only thing is a disaster with me always. Then I, I try to do it a little bit. Like, it's well, an I exercise. Say, <laughs> I say, I mean, bravo, the exhibition was uh, absolutely fantastic. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Castiglione and at the Triennale. Um, I think it was a year or two ago, right? And, si. and on, your, on your left there is, uh, is that Federica Sala? Si, si, si. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, after quarantine, time is so difficult to understand, no? It's, it's more in my side because you say one year, three years, what happened in the last months? How many years come through the last, uh, last winter we've done, no? I, mm -hmm. I think uh, in my mind, uh, this idea of time is always, uh, it's always that we have to, to break it continuously because I, I mean, if, you don't, if you, don't, you don't change things in your life in many circumstances, no? It's, yeah. Right, right. We go away from this linear perspective of time, and and now things become much more associative. Let's say, like yes, you're I think, uh, you know, there are times in your life that perhaps you are ten years, you you are working in a certain way, and there is an evolution, relative rebel, uh, evolution. Other period, very short, perhaps lame moments with a lot of problems, but then you come out with uh, with changes. Then I think, Mina, this is our person, Madalena de Padova, the lady yeah. is coming. She was introducing in, in Europe the Eames because she met them. She was producing with her husband, then the husband left away, and then she, she was the, the compa her companion was Vico Magistretti, that now is the centenary. And I had the luck because I was seeing them here in, in, in Balears, in Spain. And I was always seeing them, you know, in, in the back of other friends, <laughs> no, they were, and, and they were, you know, I was looking at them as someone, uh, no, so they were especially uh, discreet, very essential, um, possibly from another period of uh, another kind of generation, but they were really with a kind of essential attitude that was very interesting. And it was my first work. My, my, when I ended the thesis, I went to work with Madalena and Vico for six years. Yeah. It was yeah. fantastic. Fantastic. I remember, I mean, this is a fantastic opportunity, but I look at this yeah. image and, and forgive me for saying so, but, but I, it, it makes me think about you and Alberto somehow. <laughs> well, yes, I, I, I let you say that. <laughs> I let you say that. In any couple, it's not, it's similar it's, and completely it, different, Daiko, no? <laughs> no, 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 but, but there's something about the, 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 I understand what you mean, because seeing these mythical people on the streets of Milan and in other places and, 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 and watching how they move and, and knowing the importance that they have in design. I mean, uh, Madalena's shop, uh, De Padova, you remember when it still existed? Uh, on it the was corner. fantastic. It was mm -hmm. fantastic. And, and for me, as a young designer going there for the first time and encountering Italian design and, and, and understanding people like, you know, this couple moving through the world, I mean, I see, I see a similar power in you and Alberto. But you know, Stephen, when you see a person like her, I like it from, um, just to say to you, the last thing from Madalena, um, it was very good because she was uh, editing, editing the things they were thinking together. But uh, he was the, the main designer, but she was the editor and she was breaking the rules many times. Then I understood that even if you have a strong idea, you have a strong career and you arrive with your ideas, it's not all in your hand. 
you have to be open to dialogue with someone who has ideas too. And then they break your ideas. You go back home at the night and you say, my idea was a disaster. Then you repeat it. I think it's good, this dialogue. I go to, yeah. to be in a kind of process of relation. I, I learned a lot about, about them in that thing because they were really discussing. Her. Um, some, sometimes she was saying, it's a very good idea, Vico. I think it's fantastic. Go to another one to do it because I don't want to produce it. I'm not interested in that research. And that, I me, mean, I was suffering listening to that, but she was saying the right <laughs> thing in that moment. And then it was very heavy to, and Biko would say, well, Madalena, Madalena, Madalena. And, but they, they understood <laughs> each other very well in those things. Then they were very humble, very human at, this, at the same time, you know? Yeah. yeah bello, yeah. molto bello to see them working. Yeah, yeah, but this, this idea that the company or the relationship challenges yeah. your work and pushes your work forward, I think is one that, that we, can, we can all say, we can all agree, uh, was moroso for you. Uh, and still is. I mean, Patricia is still uh, a great <laughs> friend of yours, and you still are working together. But um, tell us how <laughs> <laughs> He or she is taking care of her. <laughs> <laughs> she arrives in Ibiza. Um, tell, tell us, tell us how uh, how this uh, relationship started. Um, I mean, this is around the time when you began your studio. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. You know, I, I was working with Piero Lisoni uh, after my work with De Padova, with this fantastic couple I was saying to you, Madalena and Vico. And um, I worked with Piero Lisoni for five years. And it was very, very good uh, experience too, because Piero was like a big brother, always m related with many companies. Then I, I really had the luck to relate to many technologies, companies, and um, to know Giulio Capellini, for example, and people, fun, uh, people from both, people fantastic, uh, very important, interesting people. Then always this passion of getting in relation with people that they enjoy the process as you. That is not only you and your studio and your ideas, it's you processing ideas with others, which is a very good thing. Patri, in the middle of all this, she, I, came in my life because there was a, I did a project, a, a kind of prototype of a sofa uh, for another company uh, and a person working with her uh, liked it and gave it to Patricia, I wanted to show to her and she didn't let me go to introduce to the company. She said, it's mine. Then it was, you know, for someone who has no his own voice, that someone really says to you, I want that thing, I'm going to do it immediately. Uh, mm -hmm. I think... Uh, I think it's been oh. something fantastic for always, you know. Yeah, this is really a, a pivotal moment because, I mean, just to let everyone know, <laughs> you started your studio. The design world was a very different design world. I mean, 20 years ago, there was no diversity in design. Um, mm -hmm. There were practically no women working at the forefront of design. Madalena being one of them, Patrizia Moroso being one of them. Um, I mean, essentially, uh, the profession was dominated by old white men. And <laughs> forgive me for saying so, but you were, you were working for uh, Piero Lissoni at the time, and, and you, were, you were actually 40 years old when yes. you started your studio. Yes. And I yes. mean, imagine telling someone to go off and start a studio at 40 years old today, they would, you know, this is unheard of today, right? Um, mm -hmm. But at that time, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really curious what, uh, what propelled you out into the world? And maybe it was this meeting with uh, Patrizia Moroso, maybe it but, was but other you know, But you know, Stephen, you know, I, it's very, at the beginning, I'm a quite sociable person. Uh, I want to say that because I think it's important. I was always very able to work with others. Then it was, for me, it was not, I was so passionate on doing something I like it and yeah. to work in a team. I think that is something that, many young many young people today can share with me because I think we are working more and more in teams and in relation with others. Then what I think uh, for me was not difficult to do. I was not suffering for not having my own studio. I was always in team and I was always giving my opinion because I had a strong character. Madalena de Padre was always saying to her, no, nah, we don't do this. To Piero, very, very open in that. But right. uh, Patricia obliged me to, to focus on me. That was a very good thing. Then bit by bit, I, I began to do my own things. And, and what you're, leading, you're leading Piero's team. You're leading Piero's team in design, is that correct? 
you see, even Piero was saying to me, Patricia, I think you can, you can work by your own. But I mean, I was, I had a little daughter and that was in a moment of change of my life. I said, okay, okay, I go on, I go on. Sure. Then I began to do my things, but I was not fixed on having success or having, I don't know what. I could. Then it was something very um, natural, step by step. And I think it's always the nice way to grow on in, in a kind of um, process of work as we have because it's at the end is the thing that make you became I, I hope um, a low driver because you are in a path of something you love then in a period you were doing by your own sometimes with others perhaps in in your own uh, city town and perhaps in the other side of the world as you were in Barcelona short time ago or I, I met you in New York I always say you remember <laughs> with your big rastas echo and you you were coming in between design and and, uh, and and fashion, and you were with them trying to convince people to change because you were trying yourself to do a change. And I said, oh, that guy is so nice. You remember, <laughs> and, and we of became course. very good friends with Patri and you 20 yeah, years yeah. ago. Yeah, 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 it's true. It was the very beginning for me. It's true. Yeah, but, yes. but you know, I have to say your work at that time was like a breath of fresh air, Patricia. I mean, because oh, no. you Thank brought, you. You, it's, it's like for us, you gave a generation uh, the freedom uh, to be more expressive, uh, well, myself thank you. included. Thank you. Yeah. And, and I remember, you know, projects like the Fjord collection we're seeing here with Moroso. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, nice. We go project. on. Now, this was friends with Flo Seco, when my first Flo. work with Flo, with Piero Gandini, which is not in the image, but he, he was so, so important because completely we want to do this and he was something that was impossible became possible if you wanted then you understood how important it was to do the right conversation with the right person in in a in a right situation because it's not always so evident like, then there is a lot of fight it's very complex at our work has to do with production has to do to convince many times is the own company which is Stopping the process is a complex thing. It's, uh, you have to love no, this. Uh, then we go on in a few. And that is a little drawing for, for, for a young um, girl that when I was working with Molteni, that was always the beginning in the 2000. And um, I love it, this drawing because there was the, the double sofa where the, the couple is speaking, you know, That's the one at the left. And there is not anymore in production, this product, but it's a, a sense of me. My sofa was allongé and the two persons speaking uh, in a kind of crossover conversation. That is I, my way of thinking. This is the kind of sofa we need today. I'd be really surprised. I, I, yes, it was, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, it. <laughs> perhaps one day someone will listen to me and will redo it. Like, but that was really in my mind. And I love it the way, you know, this domesticity, this uh, was very, it was very nearby my, my way of thinking. Then is an image that I like a lot. You can go on. This is the studio. I call and, it then. Right. And you open the studio. I mean, you, this is a new studio, right? I, I know that yes. you, you combined home and studio in one building. What year was that? Oh, well, you never asked me exactly it's years. It's been like 10, 10 years <laughs> though, right? It's no, been like probably, a bit less, about eight years, something eight, years, eight seven, yeah. or so yeah. something like this. Okay, and I should say, I should say it's a little bit like, I'll, I'll just give a little insider knowledge, it's a little bit like a panopticon because through that <laughs> giant skylight, right, from Patricia's apartment, she can oh, see, see the entire you see the window upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I, I, if you know me well or people know me, it's the last thing that could, can happen because right. more they look at me than me, I look at them because I have... <laughs> You know, I'm a little bit always lost in the prairie, you know, then. Uh, but this um, is a team. And um, now with the quarantine, it was a fantastic thing because obviously everybody was in home. But me, Alberto, for example, my husband could go up and down. We had like, all this investment in reality, this, in this Liberty house, which is inside a courtyard. We did a garden in the roof, a roof garden that at the beginning, Alberto was thinking I was crazy because I was, I said, it's too much citizen. I need green, green. And I, and now it became a kind of jungle. Then it's, you have the jungle, you have the home, you have the studio all together. And uh, it's a nice thing. I'm, I'm, I was very proud uh, about thinking my way of being in a city, using all my possibilities, because obviously you can't do always uh, all these things, but we, we were sharing and it was a very interesting thing. It was nice for my neighbor. I 
at this particular moment, I think all designers are at yeah. home sort of reimagining uh, sí. what domestic life should be, yes. right? We're yes. kind of all confronted with uh, the reality of our home life. And uh, yes. here, here we see an image of the, uh, the Das Haus uh, at the Cologne Fair. Um, yes. Your project for the Archiola House, what was it called? The Ideal Home. I do hum, yes. It uh, was yeah. very fun. It was nice because you, you had to do a construction or something that was telling your idea of home. But me was um, a scaffolding, uh, just rented with the net of the scaffolding. And we were doing an, uh, in I, um, how do you say, hyperscale, out of a scale, um, a big uh, embroidery. Uh, and there was a guy from um, Australia that arrived to the studio. He was in a stair doing embroidery out of a scale and the mother called him. And he said, well, I don't tell your mommy what I'm doing because Urkiola put me here because he was a very strong guy and then I was not afraid about him doing the, this work. But yeah. it was very fun to, to, to see all this crossover in the studio. Then we were using a lot, a, lot, a lot of prototypes from your work and, and what's fascinating yeah. is that, that you're not only using the new pieces like the, the hanging elements in uh, chrome yeah. that you there those are table legs um yes. you're using ta table legs in an interesting way right but then you're also there's this kind of nostalgia uh for these baskets from the 70s that used to hang from the ceiling and you know but it's reinvented and i thought it was very clever it's beautiful well you, we so, can go 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 this yeah. was that i like this yeah. only for one thing that today we were speaking we we we, we take a, a, a any magazine we are speaking, we are, we are reading news about anti antibodies, no? Continuous, our antibodies, you've got the antibodies, you are, you are not reactive with it. And uh, we, this was an argument when you, you have um, a, child, uh, a child for a certain period, we speak about a lot of that because you have your antibodies for the baby, not baby. And I stopped, I said, Patricia Moroso, I was speaking when they had the phone, say, I don't speak about antibodies with you one day more. We are going to do an armchair, which this is the, the clinical uh, symbol of the antibody. Then people was always thinking that the chair was about flowers, but it's about antibodies. Then it was a very fun conversation. And then we began to do this like a, like a kind of, you know, so... Um, music. It was, uh, I like it a lot, the idea, because it was a discussion, then we put some wraps uh, around the same uh, metal frame and became right. Tropicalia. Then I like it a lot, this conversation with her, because no, they were just, very it's, open. It's very clever to use the same frame for two different collections. I mean, in one, yes, in yes. Antibody, it's upholstered, in uh, Tropicalia, it's woven. <laughs> Uh, reusing, reusing what is some, I was saying, don't ask me for a new frame. We have already one, we do another thing. Then reusing, <laughs> rethinking uh, from uh, 2006. No, this is a absolutely, nice thing. Absolutely. Yeah. And here you're weaving on a larger scale. Yes, uh, that was a one. And... See, well, it was nice. The, this, for example, is nice because in one side there is the, 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 the typology. Uh, which is a little bit, you know, the more traditional of this, uh, the black chair, but became a kind of um, a very complex uh, mold uh, in plastic. Many years ago, it was quite impossible to do it, and it was possible. And in another side, you have this family of stools and table done by my friends in, uh, um, in Africa. Botswana. Botswana. Yes, Mabeo, which is an incredible guy that uh, we met by chance uh, in a, in a conference, it was a kind of uh, meeting about design and creativity. And we did the project in a second and uh, I hope the best for his work because he's a very sensible guy. And, yeah, and, uh, yeah, someone, he's someone friend. absolutely, he's a great guy. Someone I'd love to collaborate with at some point. What's, yes. what's, what's curious here is that the Mabeo project is completely made by hand uh, and, and and then the, the cartel project, it's hard to believe that this chair is actually plastic. See, you know, uh, when the, uh, this kind of, of mixed idea that I think is uh, in our conversation, Stephen, they make us um, understand each other very well because we like a lot this kind of passage in between what is absolutely artisan or what is absolutely industrial, but li looking at them with the same point of view. For me, it's not important. I'm, uh, some fair person connect me only with my artisan more attitude, other ones with my industrial side. 
I, they don't understand how much is um, a fluid uh, uh, land in between technology and um, research, uh, yes. handcraft research. Yeah, when I go back to the, the conversation about your studio and, mm -hmm. and beginning, uh, at this time when minimalism was the most pervasive uh, in yes. terms of, and, and then all of a sudden you're coming with ideas that, that say a designer doesn't have to be one thing. A designer mm -hmm. can be many different things. A designer can have wear many different hats, which is, I think, very much in line with uh, Castiglione's thinking and Vico Magistretti's thinking, etc. Or, or even not, even not, because they were very purist and very essential in some way, even mm. if they were opening. And, but me, I, I think uh, what is very important, you, you have to find a way of expression. And I think today, uh, industrial design is, is, is a term which is very old, and reality is um, the real double word is uh, um, tec techno all the technology connected with the craft um, education or culture. And both things, the, the, these two things, they, they get really connected in my mind. This, for example, is a, obviously I'm a fan and I am a friend. I am a person that mm, loved the work from um, Olafur Eliasson and this uh, 3M uh, material got inside my project and the, the, the translation of light through transparent materials. Then the Xerox table was coming from other Bruno Munari researches that I was crazy uh, for uh, his work uh, and tack. Uh, these two works, they are two homages to two to persons that for me were so important. They give me a lot of freedom, Michael. They are still giving me a lot of freedom. <laughs> nice people, like incredible people in our our community. All this, for example, it was a very lucky armchair. I will never thought was um, they will produce it even because we were in. A, it's a very community. surprising for BNB Italia, huh? Yes, this was BNB Italia. I was doing for them a first research for outdoor. And I was in the company, and I went in in um, in, uh, how, in in Asia, in Philippines, I could, that you know well. Yeah, yeah, of course, and, of course. And I was there doing for them um, a collection, much more canasta, much more severe. But me, the, the last day, I was so in relation with all the guys doing the work that I said, "Come with all the things you've done in home, and we are going to do <laughs> something." And they came with those little circles, you know, that they put under uh, the tree or over a table. I and we put them. them, connected them, and we, I didn't have so many. They said, we do partially like this. Like, and we did the armchair, like my Emmanuel armchair. And we, <laughs> because Emmanuel, I was 15 years old, and I went to sit in the cinema being young. <laughs> No, that armchair was possibly in a side, in a pocket, you know, um, a, a sexual uh, or sensual, oh, like, uh, well, I don't well, know, yeah, who knows, yeah. who knows, <laughs> like, a pocket in my mind, and this, and, and they produce it, and I, well, I mean, this, know, is the beauty, this, joke. this for me yeah. is the beauty of working with uh, yeah. craftsmen in this way, is that, that you're learning as much from them as they're learning from you, yeah. that it's, it's truly about, uh, you know this this kind of collaboration they can bring so much to the project and all yeah, they of the surprise me bmb they they surprise me. yes yeah. and for yeah. example the, the bathtub i've been working with agape which is one of the companies lovely companies in italia which are doing amazing strong work about design with a very interesting path in with a very severe way of working then my conversation with agape was always about you know trying to do very severe and simplified. And one day I went to them and said, I was doing a hotel in Vieques. There was this island, military island, that is not anymore military, but it was quite crazy place. And I was saying, I'm not gonna do bathtub and things. I'm gonna put a tin and we are gonna do like this. I don't want to go on. And then nobody wanted to do it. Even the Chinese suppliers, they said they didn't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. Then I called my friend. And, uh, and Emanuele Benedini, which is a sophisticated man, Italian from the north of Italy. If you see him, he's very, um, you will never understand well how he's opened their mind. Oh, and wow. he said to me, Patricia, I do it. I like it. And then I make it in production. I'm going to call it Vieques. And then came Vieques. Because then, you know, sometimes you, you work in architecture and then a need, which is very quick and you have to solve it and nobody's yeah. listening to you and then you get on the idea that I'm going and don't put a normal bathtub I don't want to have bath with bubbles I want a tin and uh, <laughs> we did it we did it then I have to tell you uh, 
a good friend of mine here in Brooklyn uh, is renovating his house, and this is his dream bathtub. So, you know, I, I might be reaching out to you about that. If he's, then, if he's the accomplice, he can always try now. Perhaps he will find a way to produce it in a very simple way. <laughs> someone can do by his own and perhaps in another exactly, way. Exactly, exactly. This was with, with uh, Bofi. Uh, Bofi um, is, is a, one of the fantastic company or the kitchen companies that uh, I met them through Piero and Sony, but I didn't work so directly with them. Then after even quite 10 years of um, ending my relation with Piero, it was nice because they liked it to do with me a project. And I thought it was a, a nice um, reacting you know, after all this, this long path. And um, we did this, this collection, Salinas, and I like it because it's done in a very sustainable way. There is no the inside, you know, which is uh, done normally with this compose of wood that is at the end, the inside of any kitchen. This right. one is only metal and frame, and then everything is framed. There is nothing inside which is um, not uh, perfect. Because then it's been um, a very sustainable path, even too much, because they were saying possibly it was part of the limit, but not the limit of the idea, but of the of the selling side, no? But I is I'm, I'm very proud about that project. Very happy. Mm -hmm. This was uh, so far with BMB that has been mythical and. Uh, uh, it was very nice. It was um, they they asked me to do a modular thing with this spirit of the sixties. This uh, this is something completely different. What is <laughs> what's happening here? For this? <laughs> <laughs> this is my love for for you know how do you say like, the sneakers? Like, I, sneakers I I think uh, my nieces and your all our nieces they we look at us and we say what about design which is not a kind of instrument for communicating, which will be not any for more a phone, but they will understand what is anything related to a sneaker. Yeah. That is the only <laughs> argument that will translate our culture from today. Yeah. Yeah. Then I, I was doing my, um, this kind of, uh, we make it so much fun and I was so, I, I this, those processes I was, I was um, asked by Rosanna Orlandi to do um, one piece all with uh, wasted material, not coming from plastic. Mm -hmm. Then we, we worked with these friends from Taiwan that they recycle a lot of material and they are very clever and they, they really yeah. have a good, good, yeah, this, good taste yeah. even. And this you know, the fabric is done. The, the, the fabric is done, for example, they have different, all the fabrics and all the elements which are in this kind of a strange shoe, uh, wasting time armchair, they are done uh, with uh, uh, reused materials. Then it was a good way to say, you can always break the rules of your thoughts about rethinking something. Then I, it's, it's part of a family of, of shoes or, or of um, this kind of... Um, Chairs connected with this argument that I'm doing. Like, then it's a, yeah. something I'm doing by my own, and it's a fun thing. I like it. I mean, this is this is it's so refreshing because <laughs> it's almost. I mean, no one could ever imagine that you would all of a sudden <laughs> design a giant sneaker, for yeah. example. Yeah. I love yeah. it. I love and, it. And you know, this is in Costa Rica. Like last summer. When when we could travel, echo, echo, we we've been one month in Costa Rica, and it was like a baby because we were insert in in any kind of natural thing. And this, I remember this um, leaf, no, that was so immense and was um, it was the only one that was dead lost after a, a big rain. And she was there and she was asking for help because the the whole nature in Costa Rica doesn't. It's so so brave. You get in, into any kind of green and everything, and animals and everything. But this, she was a little bit. She needed help. But then I, I like this photo. Remember me, my idea of surfaces, materials, patina, research. This is an argument. I always thought that to work in B-dimensional project as a carpet, a ceramic tile, that will be a more kind of boring thing. And I I I got a lot of energy from that. Then I, it's one of my prejudices that I break it in my life. And I say thanks because I, they, it's been very educative for me, the, the bidimensional researches. It's much, I, I'm working a lot on that now. Something like that. This is crystal. Two, yeah, two dimensional surfaces that become three dimensional um, yes, in your hands. If you see this one, it's, it's, um, there are four layers 
of um, with a technology that they get all in a very thin surface. And it's incredible, the technology. Then at the end, you really understand that today, this, for example, is marble that became a kind of silicone or a kind of uh, uh, resin. Then uh, with a natural resin, we are working each day by day to do a much more natural resin. That is a research that is growing with us. And I like a lot. Mm -hmm. it's I think it's, it's, it's fascinating that you, you can push the companies to do research because research and development, I, I think for most companies, is something that is very little invested in, uh, but this somehow was, you're finding a way. This person was the earthquake that came through a company, was working with them, and they were so brave that they called me and said, this, everything is broken. And you see the photo in the back? That was the, <laughs> the photo after the earthquake. But we know you will do something with this. And then we, we, did, we did this work, uh, a big inlay in, in men's, and uh, it's been um, it created a very strong relation in between us. Because really we were, we were moving from a problem to something that was a beauty and was interesting. Mm -hmm. That was a... And she, from that day, she sent me a lot of videos. When she has a material which is broken, but it's fantastic, she always sent to me. I, I kind of wake in the morning and I see a piece of marble break and say, and she's always sending to me. I know you will like it. Uh, then what, I think, company, what company is this, Patricia? Budri. 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 It's a company that they do a very first level uh, inlay. Uh, they work in, in, with even um, machines with uh, five, six axes. Then they work in, in three-dimensional ways. They are really the first level in Italia for, for these kind of uh, researches. And in a way, I mean, we see Italian design as being so traditional, but at the same time, uh, they're making advances which are coming no. more organically, right? Coming more through work. Those companies, they, they work with robots. They work in a very artisan way right. for certain works. For other works, they work with, with robots for five, six axes. Then they really are really, and they call me when they have a new robot, which is a bit more than this one. And they want to show me what it can do. Because uh, then sometimes it's uh, too much. I, I don't have ideas for so much. Uh, then we make a lot of fun. It's, it's very nice. They work now in, in extra thin marble, which is one, one not um, less than one millimeter, and it's a flexible one. They did, uh, wow. and they are working incredible things. They're fantastic. Wow. Nice people. Mm. Mm. It's, it's really the role of, I mean, we say industrial designer because the designer is working in service of industry. And so this, this range of work is so beautiful because we see you literally being called by the factory to come in and solve a problem, right? And this is an opportunity, the kind of opportunity that most designers don't get. So to work directly, it's fantastic. So carpets for Sisi Tapas. Uh, yeah, this is Sisi Tapi, and they are really, mm. it's a little group of people in the time. I, I hope it's always getting bigger and bigger, but was a little company. Um, with really a human relation. They have a lot of culture, they have a lot of sensibility, and then you can really um, research with them. Then I, I always do a very nice conversation with them and all those carpets that they come in. This, for example, is another com company. This is a Spanish company. The CCTP was Italian. This one is GAN, and is, mm -hmm. in this case, is a woman who is uh, taking care. She's uh, she does everything by her own. She's in India, come back, does. And anything she finds, she sends me little messages. That is a, the good thing of working with others in design. She sent me messages saying, I saw now they have this kind of filter. And I said, no, 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 don't speak to me about filter. They had a lot of prejudices with filter. There was too many things done in filter. I said, no, but we can find a way to do reusing filter and mixing the filter, no? Then we began to, to regenerate filter. Then it was a very interesting new way to do it. Or this, for example, was a Japanese company, the one with the little vases, using two or three kinds of very sophisticated new ceramic which mm. is really crystalline, it's a level, the touch is fantastic. They, and we were working with them, I did a kind of, uh, we've been two times, uh, 15 days with them in, in Japan, and me and, uh, um, and one or two assistants, and uh, we enjoy, I, I should pay them to do it, I can know that they pay me. <laughs> really was 
I, I really, it was fantastic. Oh, this sofa, the sofa from, we are going very quick I'm now. Going, you know, I'm, go, I'm, go, I'm going to see if you can keep up because it's... Yeah, it's, you go. You, go. No, you know, there was a sofa, no, sofa no, from Casina, of the carpets. No, it's not a question of time. It's more a question of go, 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 how go, go, is it possible? Go. How is it possible it's, that you're it's doing so? Go, you know, <laughs> you don't lose, don't lose your rhythm, Capito. Get, get crazy. <laughs> like, oh, Casina, Casina was, um, as you were saying, from 2015. Is uh, um, is not only my work, but is taking a lot of uh, my space time, which is a good thing to give to a company in this moment. A lot of my all my energy, possibly most of the things we've done together, they will be never physically, you know. But it's really discussing with them, trying from any kind of point of view to help um, with my really in, in the best way, which is not, com it's complex. Eh? They are companies with an incredible old story, with a legacy, with a lot of foundations, with- uh, so um, We're looking at, this is, now, this is an exhibition designed for the 90th anniversary yeah. of Casina in yeah. 2017. Casina was founded in 1927. And yeah. uh, I was there um, at this exhibition. I was not there, Stephen. Yeah. Me, I, I was not there. You remember? My yeah, I, I didn't see you there. I was looking for you. <laughs> I did all the work and I, I went to Spain because my, my dad was not well uh, and uh, I, I did, it's the only work I've done that I couldn't see physically. Then uh, I, I saw it all of it by, by video uh, and that was the Herzog de Meron building, the foundation Feltrinelli where we did it and it was in my mind but everything went as I wanted but really I, I couldn't physically touch it because it was crazy for me. So, so this one image yeah. for me really uh, sets up the situation. Um, <laughs> the book was called This Will Be the Place. Uh, you be did the place, yeah. collaboration and, with... Uh, and, and you Hughes know, Park. Stephen, it was all pink like, from the beginning. Yeah. Then you know how to <laughs> break the rules, you know? I got the TV cut. And I said, they're going to kill me. It's possibly, possibly a big problem. Like, I thought <laughs> this was the strangest color I'd ever seen. But, but, but it really spoke to the future. And I thought it was very interesting how you, you used the simple technique of color to push us into a place we hadn't been before. Because yeah. obviously, Casina, it's a, it's a story about you know, their history um, and where they are. And, and I think about- We can go um, on, we can go on. With yeah, that. and I think about where they're going. So here we have the headquarters. <laughs> So, so, but this idea of the future, I think, is very important. Something that Constantine Gritchett said that uh, your, your uh, uh, friend, my friend, um, fellow designer, said, uh, you know, that is to know the future, we have to know the present. We have to understand the present. And, and looking at the, the work that you managed to do I think it's, it's very telling that you have a clear understanding of both their history and their present. And so the future isn't, it isn't necessarily that far away. It's really a, a kind of local story. You know, here you see uh, Le Corbusier, uh, Charlotte Perrion, but using them in a, in a new way, I hope so. I could then, right. My idea was to use the, uh, the Refuge de Nantes in the middle of the space as a kind of new capsule. And today they are places in, in some deserts and in, in, in some very desertic part of the world where they are doing research and they are using a typology of, uh, of, of building, which is uh, really uh, the devolution of this work uh, done with prefab uh, attitude really many years ago. Then there is a lot of sometimes uh, things that can help us to, to think the future in, in a very simple way. If you have, um, you look at things in an individual eyes, no? with individual eyes. And uh, that, for example, was one of my first work with Cassina. I was saying to them, uh, what's your gender? My idea was, are you sure that I have to do a very um, feminine armchair, masculine, depends. It's going to be as <laughs> elegant. It could be became black or can become uh, uh, multicolored like a perroquet, can be uh, skinny, uh, skinny clear, then I don't have any kind of prejudice. Then let us call it uh, gender. Then it was a little provocation, but was uh, a nice thing. This, for example, another sofa that we were breaking the sofa in modules. Then we were trying to do a beam. At the beam, you could put pieces of, 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 pieces of, of, um, of seat. Oh, that was an, a work of architecture. Uh, the, the main space in the city was um, with many problems. We had to rebuild it. Now, for example, now, this is a, um, a film done now, uh, the last week before coming here. 
And um, I like it a lot because we were doing those little films which are in the videos, but they are in the image in the back. Then we are playing with these double layers of images. And uh, they were looking at me a little bit like this, <laughs> but I think they like it at the end idea. But well, I mean, your, the work that you've done in terms of video and, and kind of digital persona for the brand, I think has been um, so yeah. prescient because it, 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 it sort of put, predicted this time when we'd all need to, to use digital media, right? To share the news. So this- I, I believe a lot in that. I yeah, believe a lot. yeah these, these strange future stories, you know? Um, but we're looking at the 2020 collection, I believe. Your new sofa. Uh, and coffee tables, and then this, uh, these funny videos. I love these, they're amazing. You can go, go on, because I, I have too many images that we have to. No, uh, no, 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 no. I, I remember the guy doing the video, you know, that is, you know, that is nice because in my mind, you know, uh, the idea is never a fixed image, even in a fixed image. I like that something is moving. Then the video on the video on the wall is a very interesting thing. Then we always try to, to do. With the with the possibilities we have to get something, no, go on, go, 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 go. Absolutely. I get bored. You you can go. Oh, I'm going. <laughs> Mira, for example, um, Stephen, that that sofa you were seeing uh, is looking very calm, uh, and it's not a, a sofa which is um, which are big research in a formal way. But the good thing, the good news, were that I wanted to work inside the uh, the all the foam. The uh, all the how do you say the the, the material which is in uh, all the, the elements which are inside the fabric or everything is uh, recycled yeah. recycled materials. Then we were uh, going against uh, the idea of molding uh, always um, chemical foam that I think at the end is part of my work doing sofas and just um, avoiding that and getting a new path is is an exploration. Uh, mm -hmm. Perhaps even the, the public will don't want it because people have to understand those things. But I think the, the comfort and the value of the product are so strong that I think mm, it's a pity nobody can try it. Eh? Because no, in the so. moment, but is the, the all everything which is in this image is inside the technique. Eh? We are mm -hmm. not changing only the formal uh, wow effects. We are working in the way we do the, te the technology. And mm -hmm. we were doing in, in, in four projects the same thing, in two sofas and in two beds. Then it it's means that in this moment, I think the company was only thinking about to find new ways of producing things. Then so, uh, sure. what, is, what is the sofa called, this collection? Echo, this was uh, it's my sofa, and I am always <laughs> Alberto. Sengu, see, si, but Alberto exists. Echo, Sengu, Echo, Sengu. which is the, the way that the Japanese, you know, they always do and redo their monasteries uh, and they, this kind of sanctuaries. They do put in wood on wood, cross it, yeah, and then they dismantle the, yeah. and they see, and then in a circular way they redo it another time. That the the basis is done with the wood, but my idea was that. We have to find new recycled ways of, of circular ways of right. producing things and using so, the materials in that way. So listen, I'm going to just ask everyone to go, bear go, go. with us. No, 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 no. We, we, we're, <laughs> we're, we're sort of out of time, but there's so much great content to share. No, but you. go with one and and you, two images. Like, really there is a video very fun. I want you to show a video which is after that, which is fun. Go, go, go. This was in home. Go on. This is uh, with us. That was in, in the courtyard in the studio because, you know, now my, it was all my space. I could go in the courtyard and do the prototypes there. Then they were <laughs> coming. And I like these images because it was just done in this period. Then we had some light, we had a courtyard, and we were using everything. Go on, just to explain. Your, your new pat, uh, carpet collection, huh? Yes, a carpet collection for Sissi Tapi done with pieces and cozy. And that was really by an armchair for Capellini that the dress is all done with all recycled materials in, in new ways. And you just put it like a dress, like you put on you uh, a jacket and uh, you can dismantle everything in a very easy way that everything is totally, I think, in a, and we were thinking that before this period. Then I was very happy that these products that were already thought in with the with the right uh, way of thinking. And it's the, a, it's it's a bit of an homage to Vico once again. Huh? Easy, the name is, is, a, is a, um, Ludovico, let's see, Ludo, which is the other side of the name. Like. Or oh, this, for example, was um, a cabana work we are doing with Hayworth, and we are creating this habitat inside an habitat. 
I got, that is my project I'm doing for Maxi now uh, about you know living and working in in future in in our homes. And then it's the beginning. It's something we do don't have to show too much, Echo, because I should, yeah, yeah, and I, go I on, go on, go on, go on. They don't have to see the match. I'll try, I'll try. I should go, mention go, go. That there will be in conversation with the Maxi uh, at the end of. And this, for example, was a research we did with Hayward in uh, mm -hmm. Neocon. That it was our idea of an office. What, what means an office in the future? We will be with walls, which will be realistic. Our insides, they will be connected with outside. And they were, it was a mix of images, real and unreal, which I think is very, um, in, I think very, uh, an argument that we are speaking today a lot. Yeah, sure, and, sure. Yes, and I like it a lot because we did it like a joke, it was coming out with my friend Omar Souza, which is, uh, was working with them for the graphic. And we were a team of people experimenting and enjoying doing it. And that was not so a joke. We were just thinking, I think, about an argument, which is gonna be, um, you exist, you disappear, you are, you are not. The walls are really um, like frames, they, or they are realistic sometimes at all. You can play with your image. Then there was a lot of things that I believe. Then now I'm happy. Now you can, you can ask me the other things. <laughs> because I show you my... No, no, I, like fantastic. I love the flying chair. Ah, yes, why not? Why not? Why not a flying chair? Echo. Or you be or you disappear. He was Jacob, one of my uh, designers working with me, and he was crazy, disappear and get in. And, so know. listen, we, we, uh, I, I'd love to leave this plane while we take some yeah. questions. We're at the end of our time, Patricia. I can't okay. believe how quickly it went by, and it was so much fun. Um, I'm sure we have a lot of questions. I guess I need to... Let's see, go to the chat. I hope they are not so serious now. I can't yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we, we've talked about everything and, and I think it's great okay. to end with this projection into the future uh, because we all, we all need to be thinking about the future now. So um, if I'm just choosing randomly here, let's see. Um, the, the worst one, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know if uh, Sanam Sudavar is with us, but uh, he he asks about hotels. Um, he's wondering. This is a very logistical question. He's wondering where the Hotel Das Das Stua, Stua in Berlin Thanks. stands. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, do you do you know exactly where that is? That's a funny yes, question. Yes, the hotel we've done. Uh, <laughs> it's in Berlin. Okay. But what, what you want to know, Echo, is... Uh, well, Alex, Alex Gilbert uh, has asked us a question. Is, Alex, are you... Yeah, there's Alex, of course. Um, Come on, Alex, Echo. Mm -hmm. Hey, I was just curious, ah. is there anything left that you haven't designed that you'd like to? What's the final <laughs> frontier? <laughs> what, do you, what have you set your sights on? Sorry, I, I didn't understand what, what you were Is there uh, something you've never designed eh? that you'd like to design? Something I would like to do, New Frontier. I'm very discreet on telling my, my desires, in the net especially. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not because I, only because I, I could be shy or, or shy or something like this. No, because I think, um, uh, I don't know. I hope to to keep on 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 quite free relation with people I'm working and that ask me people can I can meet new people that they ask me to investigate in in interfaces that I haven't worked on. Then I am very open and I hope that to my, own, my my real interest is always be sharing my work with people I like. Is the truth that it's very important? Then I can be very easy now. We were trying to go to Nepal with uh, my friends doing carpets. We, we are not going to go because now it's going to be a very different, uh, very strange year. But, and, and we wanted to do a work which was helping the people there, but at the same time was doing research and being more um, in a more deep way with them. But at the same time, if someone is, uh, um, they approach us with uh, some new technologies for any kind of material research, and I think it's fantastic to, to try some robotic new research or, or I'm really open-minded to that. I, I think I'm gonna, I hope I, I keep 
ecco, in my young new age, ecco, um, open to, to speak with people which uh, they are open to work with teams and they, they, people that they really, they call you and then they want to do it really because sometimes there is the interest, but at the end they want only to do, you know, the market is important for them and that is not uh, the real driver in our work. Uh, you need people that they are crazy enough or interested enough or passionate enough to, to ask you for being brave the, yeah. the most you can. Even if it's a hotel, a hotel any, anything can be anything. You know what I mean? I just, um, these people, the present people, the surrealism, surrealism is playing us a long time ago. You, uh, they are many, you can do everything with a certain attitude. I don't say that I always got it. And I don't say that I am a person that grows from things I've done which are, were not perfect. Because then I, am, I learn a lot in these cases because I'm not happy now. Time and, and I, I am the, the, the worst critic. I can be, then if you say, no, I don't like it too, I can be, to me, I am immediately like this. But in any case, I, I, I remember all the people with whom I, um, we were trying to do something. Perhaps the, what came out was interesting partially, but I know we did a lot of, uh, we were trying to, to break our rules and that was fantastic. I could, and, that is for me the is is general the the concept no you know mm. it's not you know I want to do that typology because if you want that typology you will never do it echo it's obvious echo you want yeah. to do hotels you will do uh, the contrary of that <laughs> possibly possibly so there are a couple, so bad echo there are a couple more questions uh, thanks so much Alex um, yeah. I guess they could be summarized in in one question that I can ask you directly, Patricia, which has to do with the pandemic, of course. I mean, how do we how do we go on? And how do we as designers go on? And how do we as designers that are used to traveling and working directly with the factory, with the artisans, um, how do we go on to be to continue to be inventive, et cetera, if we are forced uh, to continue to work from home, et cetera? So what, what are your thoughts? So it's difficult to, to give a lot of uh, impressions no i what i think that uh, first uh, we came out of this uh, first passage of quarantine uh, because i mean in, in the place i'm living happened like this we we are in a secondary moment no perhaps in other parts of the world we are in the first or the strong still is still in a very 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 difficult moment but what we begin to think in the places where we are getting through a path which is a bit better and we are trying to to have a breath, a breath, a uh, breath, no? Um, I, it's very important, how did you get inside that quarantine? Each one arrived to that point uh, with a different circumstance. Um, and you have to, to listen. I mean, me, I try to understand how was the point? Like, what was already wrong in my path in that moment? And to, we had the time to think. That's the only thing, if you were not invested in, in the worst situation, many people had the possibility of thinking. Um, thinking is, is never bad, and I think it helps a lot. I think it's a moment of strong questions, echo, uh, to rethink part of your path, understanding that perhaps if um, what you are doing can be complex, perhaps you have to be open to, to modify to something else, which is to learn something more. I think the, the process of learning something new um, in any part of your life, in any moment of, because um, this quarantine was really democratic from the point of view that we had political, social, and uh, economical problems, all of us. If you have a team, I have a team, a quite big team, and then I had the problem of how can we manage the team? If you were alone, you were more alone. If you were uh, with a certain age, I think, Everybody have a strong problems, but we had time to think, and I think we have to be very. It's getting us a kind of humility, which is never bad. It's getting us the possibility of having a space for for thinking and changing. And no, so do your own questions, and we will not find yeah. answers immediately. Yeah. You, you see, for example, artists they they are always very interesting. We have to always look at their the attitude. Part of artists they were on the net doing something, sharing with others. But I think many of them, they are very calm 
and they are creating I think in the back and perhaps they are going to give us new ways of communicating because I think traveling is going to change we know already perhaps mm -hmm. was it was possibly perhaps exaggerate then perhaps we have in the moment everything gets a bit slower or gets a bit different perhaps we all find a new way to do it in another way that yeah. we all have to be adaptative and uh, because the problem you have it directly but you have it because a friend of you a, a brother uh, an auntie your grandmother you have problems in other ways then uh, we have to have time to all these things so we have to we don't we know about the species and and being, um, um, in, I, I like a lot this phrase of um, Jenny Holzer, not that we, I don't say perfectly, but we are delicately interrelated in some way. Not only that we, we understood we are all interrelated. Okay. Yeah. But important is that we are delicately interrelated. We, our plants, our animals, our life, our relation, our work, then that delicately is so important to understand it, that we have to take care, like, a lot of care. I, no, so. Nah, because we're sensible, no, possibly. Yeah, yeah. Less aggressive uh, um, economic point of view. Like, yeah, um, but I discuss about that a lot for a long time with people I'm working. I, they always say to me, ah, you are boring on that. I, I was very happy, for example, Casina, we were only working, I mean, no, not a lot, not with people, but we were inside the company trying to get uh, techniques which are cleaning our techniques, uh, mm -hmm. trying to do that, for example. Each one can do in his own way, you know, something. I think it's an opportunity for us all to be creative, for us all oh, to yes, always. Yeah. our imaginations, and for us all to care for it's one always, another. Echo. Always, always. See, I always think, even in the worst moment, I, I think uh, it's very important to, to, to learn, to learn new ways, I, yeah. to learn. It's very important time, that, I think. Hey, grazie per tutti. Grazie. Thank you so much. This has been amazing. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed. Right. Ciao. Ciao.